In the hardcore scene, there are two universal truths. You gotta stand up for what you believe in, and you gotta look cool as hell while doing it. I'm gonna make a video right here, right now, about who I think are the top five best threaded people in the hardcore scene. And first, we're gonna be starting off with our boy, Toby Morse of the band H2O. This guy's a legend. He's been in the scene for a long ass time. His songs are really catchy. They make you want to get up and do stuff. They make you think, oh my God, I only have one life. I better make good decisions. He's like the hardcore dad. He's the guy out there being like, make sure to do your taxes. Make sure to do really smart things and be a smart person and eat healthy and get up at a reasonable time and go to bed at a reasonable time. That's Toby Morse. But he looks pretty god dang cool while doing it, okay? This guy loves himself some tattoos. I don't know if he has any spot left on his body for another tattoo, but the general vibe of a Toby Morse fit is basically, you got a Madonna shirt, which is class, and you got the fucking camos, and then you got the Van slip on classics. Pretty good, pretty good. Not a bad little fit. Of course, he's got the glasses and the fucking tattoos and the beanie going. I like the way that this guy dresses because uh, it's pretty similar to the way Yours truly dresses, but I think that there are people that dress way better than I do. I think there are way cooler looking people out there than the ideal version of me. So anyway, Toby Morse, I think that you are the fifth best threaded person in the hardcore scene, but who do I think is the fourth best? Well, that's Sammy Charamataro from Drain. He's the vocalist. I think he looks fucking cool as hell, all while doing it in a real simple way. Let me pull up a picture of just like Sammy's regular live fit. Here we go, it's something like this. It's the shorts, it's the t-shirt, it's the fucking old beater shoes. That's it, it's fucking classic. It works for him because this guy is just like dripping in charisma. And if we just look at the way that this guy dresses on maybe a day to day, I don't know if he shows too much of that. Let's just go through this. No, just more awesome shorts and t-shirt looking fucking cool as hell. He certainly does clean up nice, doesn't he? Look at that smile, that's an infectious smile. God damn, this guy has so much charisma. Oh my God, what is this? <laughs> You're the coolest fucking guy in the world. That's so sick. With the fire on the screen behind you, you and your significant other all fucking elfed up with your goddamn dog with the antlers. God damn the drip on you, man. That's insane. Here he is coming flying at you in his classic look, and this time it's in the Tsunami security shirt. Looking cool as hell over here, Sammy. Okay, number three would be most people's number one, I think. Franz from Turnstile is one of the coolest, drippiest guys going in the hardcore scene right now. But he doesn't really show a lot of uh, himself on his Instagram here. Here he is doing a backflip in clothes that looks like he's been doing some painting. Oh, that looks fucking sick as hell. He's got the baseball jersey with the hoodie on underneath. Fucking got the Nikes rocking. Pretty sick looking. But look at this gorgeous gentleman. Look how he pulls together this sweater and buttoned up underneath it combo with the jeans. How can this guy be so cool to make this fit look so sick? But he is, and it does. He's got the, he's rocking the dunks. You gotta love him. He is the third best threaded individual in the hardcore scene. Number two, we got Anaya Lee, also known as Wild Berry Blast here on the channel. He is quite the slammer, but he is also quite the drummer and vocalist. He doesn't really like to show too many pictures of himself, so I'm not gonna, you know, go through these individually out of respect for him. And here's like the, the photo and the caption that expresses that, where he's like, yo, I don't like to be posting pictures of myself that much because blah, 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 blah. But you gotta seek out this guy's live set if you can, because he is one, Cool as shit looking dude, that is for sure. But there is one person a little bit drippier than Wild Berry Blast. There is one person putting together better fits for the pit, and that is the front person for the band Scowl. You know we're gonna be talking about Cat Moss. Look at the way that she just rocks these giant glasses and the flowers. She kind of breaks the tradition of what you'd expect from a hardcore vocalist, right? And she dresses like really girly and stuff, but not in an ironic, hey, I'm in a hardcore band and dressing girly kind of way, but in a way where it's like, hey, I, this is what I like to dress like, so this is how I'm gonna dress even though I'm in a hardcore band. I think Cat Moss is a future superstar of the music business. But the reason that like I wanted to make this video 
was this goddamn fit right here. I had to just find an avenue to talk about this fur coat dress Doc Martin combo that she's been rocking on tour with Wildberry Blast. Look at that one and two side by side. Look how fucking cool these guys look. Can you see why they're peak hardcore coolness right now? Holy shit, dude. There's nobody with more charisma, more style, more stage presence than Cat Moss right now. Absolutely unbelievable. Check out that hat and the puffy jacket and the flower dress, the Doc Martens. Goddamn cool as fuck looking. Yo, if she wants to wear a cowboy hat, she'll wear a cowboy hat. Makeup game on point. Glasses game. Game, always a high priority. Big jackets, huge glasses, patterns, and motorcycles. God damn, this person is the coolest person in the whole scene right now, and I don't think that my mind is gonna be changed pretty easily. I didn't know if I was gonna make this video or not. You know, it's kind of whack, the five best dressed in hardcore, because it's all about being yourself, and it's not about flexing who looks cooler or whatever, but I thought it'd be a fun idea uh, to do like a end of the year, five best looking people in hardcore, and that was it. I hope you enjoyed that list. If you did, leave a big fat ol' like on it, a juicy subscribe, hit the bell, and watch another video. Oh, but the coolest thing ever would be if you shared this thing with a couple other people.